So on the left, I have a site that has a post from June 6, 2018. On the right, I have a site that's last updated May 9th, 2018. And on the left is the production site. On the right is my development copy. And my development copy is basically out of date. It needs some updates done. It's missing some content. And generally, like you, when you would be doing this, especially as a developer, you'd have even more variance between the two. Um, and there are a bunch of different migration solutions uh, that will let me take that production site and get it running up locally. And the one I'm going to use today is called All-in-One WP Migration. Um, and so if I go into, on both sites, I will go into um, my plugins add new screen and I'll just look for all-in-one right there. I install and activate that plugin. And I'll do that on both sites. That's a core part of this. Once we've got it running on both, which will take just a second more, then on the one I'm coming from, so this is the uh, production site in my case, or just the from database, that's what I'm do doing on my left. My from site, I'm going to go to all-in-one WP migration, which is under tools right there. And on my right, I'm gonna make sure that I've got that plugin activated. So I'm gonna export from my production current site and I'm gonna get a 152 megabyte file. So I'm downloading that. And in general, there will be times when your file uh, from your export in all-in-one WP migration will be gigabytes and gigabytes large, in which case you will need to uh, pay them essentially because they cap the amount of uh, fi the file size that they're willing to accept on a specific uh, free version of their plugin, uh, uh, 512 megabytes, which is I think a reasonable uh, limit if you've got a larger, older site. Uh, it's likely to cause more problems for you and uh, have you make more support requests for them. Um, so with that, once the file downloads, let me double check that that has completed, it has. Then I can come in to my to site. This is my local version. Um, you can see by the local host in the address bar, I can drag that uploaded file there onto the import and it's just effectively going to upload it. And so this would work, you know, if you're moving between you know, your old GoDaddy hosting to your SiteGround hosting or your SiteGround hosting to a WP Engine hosting or your local to the remote one or your remote to the local. All of the, uh, in any case, the way you do this was all, all in one WP migration is you get the from site, you download that file, that WPress file, you upload it to the other site and then it's doing exactly as it's doing on the right here. It's doing a series of uh, overwrites and it's got a helpful warning um, for me to tell me like, hey, be careful right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit proceed. And basically what this will do is just overwrite everything I have locally. So it's very important when you do a move like this, when you use a migration plugin with all in one, like all in one WP migration, you're willing to kind of, you know, destroy to nuke, uh, to use a possibly uh, offensive term. Yeah, you know, you're going to destroy everything locally and you're accepting that because that way it's successful. So on the right, all in one WP migration gives me a possibly necessary hint which says I need to save my permalink structure twice um, and so it'll link me over to the permalink settings for my site I'll need to log in again to my site password and I'm logging in as if I am on the remote site although in this case I was using the same one in both cases and so by saving the permalink uh, say settings twice they're saying come here and hit the save changes button twice I don't know if it's superstition uh, or if it's just good advice, but now if I go to the front page of both of my sites, and I scroll down so that I can see the post, I see that they are now back in sync. I have June 6th on the top of both, and if I go to the dashboard on, both the local, which is the right, and the remote, which is the left, that the dashboards now look identical. One, three, two, uh, six posts, two pages, etc. So we're all set, and that is how you move a site with all-in-one WP migration.